Today's guest is Mike Dugan. He's a managing member of Independent Business Valuations and Appraisals, or IBVA, in Castle Rock, Colorado. Thank you to Zarlingo Rob, CPAs and Business Advisors in Wheat Ridge, Colorado, for providing a location for us to film this episode. At Zarlingo Rob, they think like business owners. For more information about Zarlingo Rob, please click the link in our website show notes. Hi, I'm Norman A. Hood, financial advisor and host of the Exit Plan Show. I interview America's top advisors like today's guest, Mike Dugan, to help business owners like you enjoy more personal freedom, grow your company faster, and transfer ownership seamlessly when the time comes. Like I said, Mike Dugan is our guest today. He's from Castle Rock, Colorado. He's with IBVA, and he's a qualified appraisal expert. Mike's completed assignments for federal gift taxes, estate taxes, income taxes, stock options, divorce, mergers and acquisitions, and exit planning. Thanks again for joining us, Mike. You're welcome. Our topic today is opinion of value. So we've talked about business valuation. What's the difference between a business valuation and an opinion of value? Well, actually, a business valuation is an opinion of value or conclusion of value. Okay. Um, what we, we also do is a, a, what is called a calculation. Ah, okay. So my terminology um, needs corrected. Right. Okay. Okay, good. Um, but the calculation is an agreed-upon procedure or process of using certain methods mm -hmm. to establish a value mm -hmm. and then give a range of values. Uh, example, you have a small business. They're, they're kind of curious as to the value for planning and that type of thing. And they want just a calculation done. Okay. Uh, and and they, the appraiser and the client agree that they're going to use an income approach. Oh, okay. Uh, just a single period capitalization rate. Oh, okay. And that they're going to come up with a, a certain cash flow uh, development from the books. Mm -hmm. And that's all they're going to do. Okay. And, and you'll get a calculation, they'll figure out the cap rate and come up with a range of value 100 to 120,000, for example. Okay. Uh, no opinion is being given. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it's more of here's the number uh, based on this very specific narrow mm -hmm. scope of work. Mm -hmm. um, it, it's a good starting point. Mm -hmm. uh, the problem with it is that when you start diving deeper, mm -hmm. one method may not be sufficient or appropriate, mm -hmm. uh, and there's no reality check involved. Okay. So you could be, you know, that business could be a $150,000 business, and you're down there at that 120. Okay. Well, uh, the appraiser needs to be a little more subjective and, and pull more data, mm -hmm. look at different things, and come up with... Um, an opinion at okay. that point. Or so a lot, of, a lot of situations that wouldn't work in. Correct. Yeah. yeah. Any anytime you're dealing with the IRS or or courts, mm -hmm. uh, you, you need to have the guns loaded. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. Good. When you do a calculation of value, uh, that's that's like you said, that's just pretty basic information of what you would need. Right. Yeah. Uh, you know, basically looking at uh, either a well, an income statement mm -hmm. is really what you're looking for and what kind of cash flows. Mm -hmm. And normally it's uh, it's not a, a deep dive into the data. Mm -hmm. And you're looking at maybe one, two, three years of data only. Okay. Uh, so you're, you're, you're limited to what you can really see or, or mm -hmm. do. But at the same time, Unless the business has changed a great deal, it gives them a starting point, mm -hmm. and then they can proceed. So I assume they could later on have you come back and upgrade that to like a business valuation. And what Correct. what what additional information would you need then? Well, at that point, we're we're going to be looking at both balance sheets and income statements. We're going to basically do a walkthrough of the business, mm -hmm. um, management interviews, mm -hmm. uh, go out and do the analysis on uh, comparables. Okay. And uh, industry data, uh, mm -hmm. you know, a lot more in depth of uh, and supporting data to to mm -hmm. make decisions on what to use. Now, do you? I know you have the machinery and equipment uh, designation. Mm -hmm. So, if a business has that, what what 
Uh, what all do you have to? I mean, that to me sounds like a lot of work to to value. It, it can be, uh, depending on on the types of items that you're looking at. Uh, example: on a construction company, uh, the yellow iron, the big bulldozers and backhoes and mm -hmm. uh, you know you need to go look at them you need to know how many hours are on them what was uh -huh. the maintenance uh, schedules on them mm -hmm. and do they run uh, yeah. you know a lot of times uh, you see desktop appraisals being done where they send you a picture well you don't know if it's running you, you know you can't yeah. really mm -hmm. tell what's happening with it mm -hmm. and, and so you got to be somewhat careful and of course explain in your report that that's what you're dealing with and yeah and alert uh, alert the reader of the report that you know i didn't see this run i mean uh -huh. so yeah good good yeah. information yeah. You, no one wants to buy a construction company if the bulldozers don't run well no that's that's true uh, you know <laughs> or at and, least if they thought they ran and then right. they didn't. <laughs> yeah it, it can be a real uh, real problem uh, you know other examples are, are jewelry stores and their inventories okay uh, I'm not a gemologist but if it's just uh, watches and, and mm -hmm. uh, costume jewelry and that type of thing you know you look at the inventory you can kind of get a, mm -hmm. a look at it um, I brought jewelry up because it it's it's one of those more specific types of businesses where right. a gemologist should be mm -hmm. brought in and taken care of but liquor stores and uh, other retail type stores uh, it, the inventories are usually the main asset that they have mm -hmm. and you need to be able to go in and confirm and verify that it is there and it's sellable and, and those types of things okay good I think we pretty much covered this but you may want to add a little bit more to it um, when is the business valuation required versus the calculation of value okay um, anytime you're dealing with IRS mm -hmm. and the tax situations uh, uh, Treasury with gift estate stuff uh, stuff it, those those matters mm -hmm. uh, divorces uh, normally the um, the trier of fact is going to want to read the, re the the appraisals there's usually two experts involved uh, one for each side mm -hmm. um, anytime that you're really needing a good defensible value mm -hmm. uh, I would say that the the appraisal or valuation needs to be done versus a calculation okay at the end of this video we'll show you how to subscribe to our free newsletter Download free guides and have an opportunity to win free books from Amazon.